hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have seen that how we can resolve this kind of error if you are facing while trying to connect with your mysql database from ignition scada now i am facing same error while connecting with my oracle database so if i click here oracle database and if i press next you can see the oracle database driver is missing required files please see this page for information about how to install the necessary driver file for your database and if i go to database driver for oracle database you can see the status error either required files are missing or class name is incorrect so how we can resolve this error again so we have to go to this page so we can open this page in a new tab and then we are facing error for our oracle database connectivity so that is why we are going to open this link given here in the documentation so we will open this link in a new tab and then here you have to download oracle jdbc driver version 11 okay so if you click here then it will directly download okay so let me click here and you can see it is downloading now i have already downloaded the ojdbc 11.jar file on my desktop so let me go to my desktop so you can see here it is already downloaded now we can go back to our ignition uh, we can go to edit for oracle database and then we can go to browse and we will navigate to our desktop to this jar file and then we will open it now we are going to save the changes okay so as you can see status is installed so whatever error we are facing it is resolved with this uh, with this oracle jdbc driver now we can go to our database connection and then we will try to create a new database connection for oracle database and it should let me create that connection okay so as you can see i am able to create oracle database connection so it means that whatever error i was facing it is resolved by just giving the path of oracle jdbc driver okay now even if you can delete this file it won't give you any error okay so let me go to config section again and then drivers and you can see i have refreshed the page two to three times but still i am not getting this error okay so once you provide the jar file to this ignition ignition will store that jar file to somewhere else in the uh, ignition directory so even if you delete that file it will not give you error again so this is how you can resolve this error okay so if you have any question or any doubt related to this error you can ping me on the telegram you can ask me on the comment section or you can also mail us so we will see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you